Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is cube root of x plus 13 minus cube root of x minus 13 is equal to 2. To find the values of x from this equation. Now, in the first step, we we'll let this cube root as a. So, our equation will be a, then minus this cube root we we'll let as b. Then, it will be equal to this, which is 2. So, this equation, we we'll let this as equation 1. Now, because this cube root we we'll let as a, so let's write it. It will be a is equal to this cube root, which is cube root of x plus 13. And also, this cube root we we'll let as b. So, we'll write it b is equal to cube root of x minus 13. Then to remove this cube root, we'll power by 3 in, into both sides. So it will be this, which is a power 3 is equal to cube root of x plus 13. Also in this side, we power by 3. So it will be a power 3 is equal to this cube root to cancel this power 3. So it will be equal to this x plus 13. Then this equation, we'll let this as equation 2. And also in here, to remove this cube root, we we'll power by 3 in both sides. So it will be b power 3 is equal to cube root of x minus 13. Also into this side, we we'll power by 3. Then it will be b power 3 is equal to this cube root to cancel this power 3. So it will be equal to this x minus 13. So also this we call, here this is equation 2, this we call equation 3. Then in the next step, we'll take this equation 2 minus equation 3. So equation 2 minus equation 3. In the left side, we have a power of 3. So it will be a power of 3 minus, in the left side of equation 3, it will be minus b power of 3. Then it's equal to, in the right side, it will be this minus this. So this, which is x plus 13 minus this, it will be bracket x minus 13 bracket. Then it will be a power 3 minus b power 3 is equal to x plus 13. Then we open the bracket by this negative. So it will be negative x. Negative or negative, it will be positive 13. Then it will be a power 3 minus b power 3 is equal to x minus x is 0. So this and this will cancel. Then it will be 13 plus 13 is 26. Then in the next step, from this a power 3 minus b power 3, we will apply a perfect, perfect cube rule of this a power 3 minus b power 3. This is same as a minus b bracket bracket a square plus a b plus b square bracket then is equal to this which is 26 then from here a minus b is from equation 1 a minus b is equal to 2 so into here we'll substitute 2 then bracket this a square plus a b plus b square bracket is equal to 26 then we'll divide by 2 in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be a square plus a b plus b square is equal to 26 divided by 2 it is 13 so into this here this was equation 3 so this will call this equation 4 then in the next step to get this a power of 3 minus b power of 3, so as you can substitute its value, which is 26, we'll apply the break rule, which is a minus b bracket power of 3. Then it will be equal to the expansion of a minus b bracket power of 3, it is a power of 3 minus 3a square b plus 3ab square, then minus b power of 3. Then it will be a minus b bracket power 3 is equal to, we'll take this 
a power of 3 minus b power of 3 so here a power of 3 minus b power of 3 then we are left with this and this into here and here we'll take negative 3 a b out of bracket so this negative 3 a square b divided by negative 3 a b it will be a then this 3 a b square divided by negative 3 a b it is negative b then bracket now into here we will substitute the value of a minus b it is from equation 1 which is this is equal to 2 so in here it will be 2 power of 3 is equal to this a power of 3 minus b power of 3 it is this a power of 3 minus b power of 3 which is 26 so into here we will substitute 26 then minus 3 a b then bracket a minus b is 2 bracket then 2 power of 3 it is 8 is equal to 26 then negative 3 times 2 it is negative 6 a this a b then we'll take this negative 6 a b into this side so it will be positive 6 a b then is equal to this 26 we we'll take 8 into this side to be minus 8 then it will be 60 a b is equal to 26 divide 26 minus 8 it is 18 then we divide by 6 in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be a b is equal to 18 divided by 6 is 3 now from this we get a b it is 3 then we recall from equation 4 so from equation 4 whereas it has a b Equation 4 it is this a square plus a b plus b square is equal to 13 so from a square plus a b plus b square is equal to 13 then it will be this plus this which is a square plus b square then plus a b it is 3 then is equal to 13 then it will be a square plus b square is equal to 3 we take to this side it will be 13 minus 3 which is 10 then from here into a square plus b square is equal to 10 we will apply the break rule so as you can substitute this value of a square plus b square which is equal to 10 so we will apply this algebraic rule which is a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square then it will be a plus b bracket square is equal to this plus this so it will be a square plus b square then plus this 2ab then from here a plus b square a plus b bracket square so into here we write here it will be a plus b bracket square is equal to this a square plus b square this it is a square plus b square is equal to 10 so here we substitute 10 then plus so it will be is equal to 10 then plus 2 2 a b this 2 a b so it will be 2 times a b it is this a b is, is this 3 so here it will be times 3 then it will be a plus b bracket square is equal to 10 plus this time this is 6 so it will be a plus b bracket square is equal to this plus this is 16 then we'll apply square root in both sides so this square root will cancel square then it will be a plus b is equal to plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 then from here we have two solutions because of plus or minus so the first solution when it is positive 4 it will be a plus b is equal to 4 and the other solution when it is negative 4 it will be a plus b is equal to negative 4 then from these two solutions we'll use the first equation whereas the first equation it is a minus b is equal to 2 so from a minus a minus b is equal to 2 
also in here a minus b is equal to 2 then we'll solve this continuous equation by elimination method so we'll add these two equations so a plus a is 2a b plus negative b is 0 so it will be equal to 4 plus 2 is 6 then we divide by 2 in both sides this and this will cancel then it will be a is equal to 6 divided by 2 is 3 now from here we get the value of a so so as you can get the value of x we will take one of the equation which is this equation 2 which is a power of 3 is equal to x plus 13 so from x i mean a power of 3 is equal to x plus 13 then we'll substitute the value of a so as you can get the value of x so here a it it is 3 so here it will be 3 power of 3 is equal to x plus 13 then it will be 3 power of 3 it is 27 is equal to x plus 13 then it will be x is equal to we'll take 13 into this side it will be 27 minus 13 then it will be x is equal to this minus this is 14 so this is the first value of x and to solve from this the other solution by elimination method we'll add we'll also add these two equations so it will be a plus a is 2a b plus negative b is 0 so this and this will cancel then is equal to negative 4 plus 2 it is negative 2 then into here we'll divide by 2 in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be a is equal to negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1 then we'll apply the same equation so as you can find the value of x this a power of 3 is equal to x plus 13 which we applied here so from this equation which is a power of 3 is equal to x plus 13 we substitute the value of a which is negative 1 so it will be negative 1 bracket power of 3 is equal to x plus 13 then it will be negative 1 power of 3 it is negative 1 is equal to x plus 13 then it will be we we'll take this negative 1 into here we we'll take this 13 into this side so it will be negative 1 this will take to this side to be minus 13 is equal to x then it will be x is equal to negative 1 negative 13 it is negative 14 so this is the other value of x in this our uh, problem so we have two solutions therefore the conclusion x is equal to this positive 14 and this negative 14 so this is the values of x in this our uh, problem now to check if these values of x are correct back into our problem for the value of x is equal to 14 we substitute here 14 and here 14 so it will be cube root of 14 plus 13 then minus cube root of 14 minus 13 so 14 minus 13 is it equal to this which is 2 then it will be cube root of this plus this is 27 minus cube root of this minus this is 1 is it equal to 2 cube root of 27 is 3 then minus cube root of 1 is 1 is it equal to 2 now this minus this is 2 which is equal to 2 now left side and right side are equal then it is true for the value of x is 14 now to check for the other value of x which is negative 14 so let's check here if x is equal to negative 14 then we we'll substitute it will be here we we'll substitute negative 14 so it will be cube root of negative 14 then plus this 13 then minus cube root of this negative 14 then minus 13 is it equal to this which is 2 
then it will be cube root of negative 14 plus 13 it is negative 1 then minus cube root of negative 14 negative 13 it is negative 27 then is it equal to this 2 then cube root of negative 1 it is negative 1 then minus cube root of negative 27 it is negative 3 then is it equal to this 2 then negative and negative it will be positive so it will be 3 minus 1 it is 2 which is equal to 2 now left side and right side are equal then it is also true for this value of x is equal to negative 14 therefore we have two solutions that 14 and negative 14 thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye